everyone, and welcome to another episode of UPG Sharing. Again, real quickly before we get started, the whole purpose of this is to provide a platform for people to share their UPG either openly or anonymously. When I first got into heathenry, it was difficult to find people's UPGs to share and compare to my own experiences. When I was able to finally share my UPG with a group, the conversation we had afterwards really helped me with my faith. So I would like to help everyone else have the same opportunity I had. So if you would like to share your UPG story, you can either get in contact with me through Facebook, Twitter, Discord, uh, on Reddit, but I rarely check that, and we can set something up and we can get together and record your UPG, or you can send it to me and I can read it out aloud. Either way, we can do it anonymously or openly, whatever anyone's more comfortable with. Now, just as a bit of an FYI, when there are other people on, I would like to do a little bit more of a quote unquote interview, but more just really kind of touch bases so we can have a small conversation about it. Uh, again, feel free to talk about any of this down in the comments and enjoy. Today, I'll be sharing my experience with Odin. This was my very first UPG that I had, and I was searching for faith, basically, as I had been looking into different religions, reading different texts, different scriptures, uh, and I've always just been a fan of mythology in general. So one day, I decided I would listen to the Poetic Edda, just to kind of touch up on some of mythology. And as I was listening to the Poetic Edda, it got to the portion where he talks about the Havamal. And I'm at work during this as I'm listening. And as I'm listening to the words of the Havamal, all of a sudden I just kind of zone out. And then there was like a wave of warmth or almost like a slowly descending into warm water that just kind of came over my whole body. Uh, and then it was combined with this, it was like a, a heaviness or a weight, not, not just on my chest, but like on my whole body, but not painful at all. And it did leave me like breathless, but I was still able to breathe. He just kind of had a little bit of the breathless feeling, but not in a bad way. And then it all just kind of slowly washed off from me. And I kind of came back. Um, it, it was almost like when your fight or flight kicks in, except for I wasn't really panicking. I wasn't really worried about anything. I was very, very just an intense feeling. Now, I've never experienced anything like this before. I don't faint. I don't get lightheaded. None of that. So I found that a bit odd and just kind of wrote it off. But over the next uh, week, there was a few days where there was a lone crow that would just hang out right in front of my house when I got home from work. Wasn't really the time of year for them. I know crows stick around all year, but not really when they hang out in front of houses, usually. Uh, again, I am from an atheistic background, so I tried not to read too much into it, nor did I really read much into it. Until I had the same experience of the wave of in the weight and the warmth and everything rushing over me again as I was sitting at home one night uh, contemplating basically life and everything and my actual beliefs and I did try to reach out to Yahweh at first right coming from a very Christian area that was the first go-to route but just never really had any experience or anything like that nor did I ever really 
feel the, him reaching back, as some would say. But as this the second presence or wave came over me, uh, my mind just slipped right back into the words of the Havamal and then started imagining the crow again. And that's when I kind of knew that Odin was calling to me. And about a week or so later is when I talked to my wife and explained how I think that, uh, that I found my faith and that it was in Odin and the old gods. And from there, I just kind of started doing some more specific research and my UPG seemed to line up pretty well with others, so I feel validated. I hope everyone enjoyed my story. Again, I hope it encourages people to share theirs and have a wonderful day.